Okay, here's just a video uh, kind of showing you of the lithium-ion batteries for the Onward Club Car. It's the Snowstorm Edition. Uh, got this for Christmas. Uh, this video here is in July when I was doing a um, kind of a review of it. Uh, I never posted it, so now you'll get this one from July as well as one from November, which would be recent, just telling kind of what I think. You can see this one's got the Bluetooth speakers, garage door opener, lifted, got the glass, windshield, turn signals, headlights, all the, uh, I guess, bells and whistles that they would come with. Uh, and there's the big lithium ion battery. Uh, I got the cover from Club Car, the, the cover that, you know, would come dealer installed for the winter months. Um, I just hung some towels, found places to hang stuff and do things with. So after having the cart almost a year, and I don't know that there's many videos on there. I normally do car videos. I figured I would do one kind of a, as a review. Um, the cart, uh, the appearance of it, I mean, it's awesome looking. I think it is. I think the wheels, the bigger wheels, the lift, the front brush guard, even though you really don't need it, all that is super cool. Um, there's your charger. It's pretty small. I mean, you could carry it with you if you needed to. But the biggest issue that I have with the golf cart is the playability factor. We live about a mile and a half, two miles away from the golf course. And if you put it in the sport mode, which is awesome. The sport mode is, I don't know, 20-something miles an hour. I mean, it'd throw a small kid out of there. You'd have to put seatbelts in if you had a small kid and you weren't holding on to them. Um, but there's just no way to play 36 holes. Now, I know some of you only want to play 18. That's fine. No problem. But just imagine you played 18 in the morning, then you want to go eat and then you play 18 again, you'd have to charge it in between there. Not a big deal. You can take that little charger with you and plug it in, I guess. Uh, but I just thought for some reason with the lithium ion, it would last longer. But, uh, but again, maybe I was being unrealistic. Um, the, the, the issue that I have is that, you know, maybe being two miles away from the golf course too is what's bad. Maybe if you live right on the golf course, you can just jet right out your back door and you'll be perfect. Uh, but I don't. I have to drive a ways. You can see right here the bags sit on the inside, which is good for the garage. takes up less space. But really, the bags would be better on the outside because you've got to take your bags off. Like if all of a sudden you said, oh, let's go to the pool or something, you see how narrow it is there to get an adult in the back there. It's kind of tough. Kids are fine. Adults are a little tough. So you could take your bags off, of course. But if they were on the outside of the cart, you wouldn't have that issue. Uh, again, we could weld a plate or something back there and fix it. Shouldn't be no issue. Um, but, um, but again, appearance wise, it's nice, but for the money, uh, I thought, you know, I'd get a little more playability out of it. We've changed it to eco mode now from sport mode. So it's kind of slow starting off, but you still can't get in 36 holes on one charge. It's just not possible. And I'm guessing, you know, mine has to do with my wife picking all these options as a Christmas surprise of it being lifted and the Bluetooth and the headlights and all that. And so it's super cool in that regard. But for golf ability, I think, see, here we go. The video switched over now to the one I just did uh, that was just made here in November. I've got the cover down uh, to get ready for winter. But you've got a lift on the cart. So, again, looks-wise, it's awesome. But when you're playing golf, I mean, you can't even lean over to pick up your golf ball hardly. You know, if you hit a couple off the tee and you want to go grab one, you can't do it. Uh, you'll about damn near fall out of the cart. Um Stepping up in it after every swing you make, basically. I mean, I'm 37. I, it, it's not bad for me. My, you know, I play with another guy who's in his 20s a lot. But, you know, my dad's 62, um, and it's it's just a step up every time you do it. Even I notice it. I mean, it's every single time. And if you're a hacker like me and you're getting in and out 100 times, it's a lot of step up. Again, it's, it's pretty, and it looks nice. But that's just something I didn't think about. I'll be honest with you. I was naive, I guess. Um for the golf ability of it. Um, don't pay any attention to that battery in the back. That's just something I'm working on now. I was going to try to just hot wire a, a little heater straight to the inside of the cart for wintertime. But instead, I, I ordered a portable battery, a Titan XL. I'll do a video on it later, though. So I ordered basically just a portable battery that should last about three, four hours, depending on the heater. And I'm just going to plug a little heater straight to it and run it straight to the front of the golf cart and see how that'll work to have some sort of heat. Because the propane heat, I've got that little Mr. Buddy golf heater, 
but there's no room to hardly put this one in here either. It's right up on your knees when you're stepping in and out of the lift. Um, so for some people, this cart's probably perfect. You could go down to the pool with it. You could play 18. You could charge it. You'd be fine. No issues doing that. But for me, the stepping up in and out, uh, not being able to collect a golf ball is not that big of a deal, but it is something you notice now. Um, I, I, if I could do it all over again, especially for the price point. I mean, again, when my wife surprised me with this on a little keychain, a picture of it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. We just moved into a new house last November near the golf course, but then I also knew what the price of it was, and I'm just like, damn, you know, we probably shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but it's done now. Um, but if, it, if I could do it all over again, I'd probably just get a used, uh, regular, lowered golf cart, uh, four door. Uh, I mean, you know, the four seater is still good. I don't have any issues with that. But a lot of this is some fancy, extravagant stuff that for somebody that I just want to go play a lot of golf with it, it, it isn't as uh, well suited for me. Uh, the, the blinkers, I mean, I'm never going to get on the road. I guess if I lived in the villages in Florida or something, maybe it would be good. But I don't. The bag needs to be on the outside. I thought the battery would last longer. So I'm not knocking the lithium ion by any means. Again, if I lived right on the golf course, it might be perfect. I'd put it on sport mode. You'd be flying everywhere you go, 20-something miles an hour, uh, looking good. <laughs> but for playability, living a couple miles away, I mean, I'd have to take the charger with me and then charge it to, to play 36, which I've actually done before. You know, I have. I've taken it and plugged it in and charged it. I mean, there's no course out there who's going to care if you do that, I wouldn't think. Um, but it's just a review on it. Again, your choice to make. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything I can think of to say. Um, of course, you can ask questions, and I'll let you know. And I'll make another video letting you know if I'm able to get that little heater to work good in the golf cart. Because they don't make a heater that is lithium-ion compatible, uh, according to Club Car. If you plug something straight into that lithium-ion battery, they say you're going to void the warranty. So if somebody has like a 48 volt heater they say oh yeah you can plug it in club car says you can't now if you hear otherwise from club car please let me know because then i would just get me a normal little heater to plug in but with the battery not even lasting as well as it should i think you know play but again playing 18 holes you're fine you never have never have an issue with it but if you want to play more anything you add to it if you run a fan you charge your phone you do a heater, of course, it's going to drain on it. The lift drains on it. The Bluetooth speakers drains on it. I don't really even listen to music playing golf much. We play music if we run down to the pool, if we run and eat sometimes. It's not really something I needed for golfing. Uh, the garage door openers I did need. They're cool. The daylight headlights, I don't. they look nice sitting on the course, but it's not like something I needed. Just another drain on the battery. Sure, I could find the fuse for it, but I'm not even going to try on a golf cart like this with a battery that I know nothing about. Um, I would definitely recommend the cover. I think I said that. The cover's nice. You saw another video. It folds right up. You don't even see it. It was pricey, but it it's like a greenhouse effect. So even though I want to put a little heater in there for really cold days, really, you're probably not going to use it a ton. You'd start off with it, but then the sun's going to beat in there. It's going to heat it up in there some. You'll be good. Knocks off the wind. It's real sturdy. It's already made one winter and then been rolled up all summer, and now it's back down again. Knock wood, no rips or tears in anything. So, yeah, so that's my review. I think if I lived closer to the course and I was doing a lot more things like riding up to the grocery store, uh, going to the pool more, going to eat at a restaurant, I think it's awesome. But for golf-wise, being lifted, uh, all those other things, if you're really just straight up a golfer, you might could save 15k and find a used one or or just you know knock off some of those those things this one has